Hey, it's Patrick from JMP Cycles. We're gonna show you how to install Custom Dynamics Pro Beam Tail Light. This is a huge upgrade in a lot of ways. One, it looks a lot better. And we're trying to kind of slim down the back of our Road King here and um, kind of tighten things up. This is a good way to do that. This particular version of the Pro Beam is a smoked laydown unit. The smoked one with the black fender is also kind of going to help it kind of fade away. But maybe the biggest get out of all this is you get LED technology on the back of your bike, which is a lot brighter than the stock incandescent bulb. So this is a 2012 Road King. The tail light install on this is gonna be very, very similar. This is the same, this is the same tail light setup as what would be on an Evo Sportster or a lot of like Dynas and things like that. The one thing you have to uh, pay attention to depending on your model of bike, on where your plate is, uh, in relationship to the tail light, so you get the light up on top. You can see the big cutout here that lights up this plate. We have the light on the top of ours here that will light up the plate. If your bike is one that has the plate underneath, you need to get the version of this with the light underneath. Other than that, all we're gonna need is a Phillips screwdriver to do this. So we're gonna pop off our two Phillips here. We will reuse these screws, but let's get started and bang this out. So don't lose the screws, we're gonna reuse those. And you can see our tail light, you know, this is a used bike, it's had some modifications done, but yours is gonna be the same in that there's just one plug you gotta unplug here. You wanna press down underneath of it, you can see this is the part you wanna press on right there. So one of the biggest things about this is the amount of light you're gonna get out of the new tail light. This is the old school 1157, um, pretty old incandescent technology. And if you see that LED array and those projectors right there, this is just gonna be a ton more light and ultimately a lot safer for you. So we have a little bit of prep work to do. We're gonna take our old gasket out here and clean this up. They send a nice one. Uh, we'll just peel the backing off once we get it cleaned up. And this kind of only fits in there one way. It'll go in just like that. If you try to put it in any other way, it's not gonna line up right. So we'll peel this off, clean this up, Stick this in there and we'll be ready to put our tail light in. So Custom Dynamics sends a couple of rubber O-rings. These go on the hardware from the stock taillight that we're gonna reuse. We'll slip those on there, plug the taillight in, and then we'll screw it down. So make sure your taillight sat down nice in there and it's not sitting on there crooked. And just get these started on either side. I like to tighten them down together. If you, if you tighten one side down all the way and then try to tighten the other side, it, it, gets, it can get out of whack. So let's kind of go back and forth kind of tighten them up at the same time and you can see the tail light kind of sucked down there. Already you can see it greatly improves the aesthetics back here on the back of this Road King. Combined with our lay down license plate here, we took the stock one that was up in the air, we laid it down. Now we have the low profile tail light here uh, from Custom Dynamics and it just really kind of flows with the line of the fender. It's not that bright red when it's not on, so it really kind of flows down nice, but the big get to this is gonna be how much brighter it is. Let's take a look and see how bright this thing's really gonna be. Pretty cheap and easy upgrade for your motorcycle to improve the look and safety of your two-wheeled freedom machine. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to drop us a comment and go work on those motorcycles.